Righto, tell the there, champs. And what do we have here? We have the Tough Gaming VG32 VQ gaming monitor. Now this thing here is a 32 inch 144 Hz 1440p display. And for what this is designed for the target audience, they just nail pretty much everything. This is not just for PC, this is console ready. So if you have an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5, this will be great for 120 hertz, 1440p. Wolf. That's what you want to do if you're on a console, man. Get the, you know, the PC gaming experience now with a high refresh monitor. So having a look at it, it is a 32 inch curved monitor. Supports HDR10, so it will map HDR, although to be perfectly frank, I think it's better to have HDR off. But why this monitor is so good, it just hits every sort of sweet spot. It's a 32 inch, the perfect sweet spot in size, especially for 1440p. The price is a sweet point. Even Asus or ROG make much more expensive monitors than this. I will leave the latest price in the description. But for bang for buck, it is just perfectly in the sweet spot of pricing and performance. It is FreeSync compatible. I wasn't able to get G-Sync working. And of course, being 144 hertz, it is great for gaming. All those key points, price, performance, size, everything in the sweet spot, it just hits it perfectly. It is a VA panel and it is curved. It is a 1800 curved. It has the Asus Extreme Low Motion Blur Sync. And if we talk about the specs of it, other than the ones I've mentioned, 16 by 9, 1800 curve, 31.5 inch. It's near enough 400 nits. I measured that. It does say 400. Or, you know, I've got around 389. Near enough 400 nits. 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. And the color gamut for me was 93% sRGB. So it's going to be good not just for gaming. It'll actually be good for some content creation as well. Now it has a 4 millisecond greater gray. But given it's a big screen and I sort of get sick on big screens if they're not fast. On small screen, it doesn't matter, but big screen, I do. It was perfectly fine. It felt fast. It felt connected. There wasn't too much overshoot. It's just like bang on what you want from a gaming panel. Of course, VA panel. This VA panel is actually better than some of the, you know, IPS panels I've seen. And I've reviewed a few monitors. Of course, ROG or Zeus make higher end models. So if you want a higher end model, you pay more, right? But for what you pay for this, it is really good. I didn't notice it being slow or anything like that. It felt really good gaming with it. I will show you my gameplay, my actually my second gameplay on this monitor. And I've done all right. It does actually have speakers too, two by two watts. They're nothing fantastic, but you know, it's good to have those speakers there. DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 2.0, that's by two, headphone jack. Build quality is good, it looks good. You have all the adjustments, swivel, tilt, and height. On-screen display is easy at the back with the, you know, the four buttons and the joystick. It's just a pleasure to play with this thing. That's all I can basically say. The only thing I would say is, yeah, the HDR, it can map HDR10 and that, but you know, with 400 nits brightness, you're not gonna get the full HDR effect, although you can do it if you want, because a lot of HDR content you'll be surprised some of it only goes up to 500 nits anyway but i would suggest just keep it in you know normal non-hdr mode and you're going to have a great gaming experience with this and that's the only sort of con there right everything's good everything checks out i like everything about it but the hdr is not like full hdr and to be honest when it comes to hdr you really want to oled in something with 800 nits of brightness at least or whatever but you still get that experience of gaming in hdr because it maps that way and as i said not a lot of games will be peaking at 1000 nits anyway so i really like this monitor there's nothing really to complain about it is the sweet spot monitor and look, I'm not a fan of the curved monitor, but at 32 inches, it sort of does work. And, you know, gaming at 1440p, 144 hertz, you know, four millisecond response, it is awesome. You're going to like this thing, especially if you're on a console, you're going to love it. PC, we already know what high refresh is and, you know, how awesome it is. So you can do a lot worse than this thing. This thing is good. Although I want to see some of their really high end models, some of the IPS high end models, which obviously can cost over double this. And um, yeah, Zeus makes some good monitors. Yeah, they're really good. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. Team Deathmatch. Throwing granite. We're pulling ahead. Throwing frag. <laughs> Throwing smoke granite. Playing smoke. Throwing granite.
One by. Working. Care package on standby. <laughs> Throwing granate. Eat this. Popping smoke. Smoke going out. Flashbang. We got the napalm strike incoming. Here's KIA. Idiot! Out. Popping smoke.
loyalty to the party, loyalty to the motherland. Victory. Soviet dominance assured. I have you. Hostile throwing flash. 